Well, across the nation, chicken farmers often complain about debt and unreliable income. Nonetheless, there are people eager to get into the chicken business. Sometimes these are tiny chicken operations in residential neighborhoods. Tonight, though, the story of a much larger chicken operation on the horizon in Plymouth, an area where agriculture is giving way to residential habitation. Walid Alamla is just back from Plymouth where a chicken farmer is looking to keep the peace with his neighbors. Walid. Yeah, that's right, George. There was a whole lot of clucking that went on today at Lake Swan Resort, but the chickens are coming home to roost whether the neighbors in the area want it or not. 16 months of 21,166 birds. Just say it plainly, that's a lot. To say the neighbors in this Plymouth neighborhood near Swan Lake Resort are upset would be an understatement. And it's all happening because of a chicken farm that is being built by their neighbor, bringing in over 21,000 chickens to his 50 acres, an issue that has alarmed many members in the community. We moved here to have gardens, to let our kids play out in the yard. And unfortunately, when you bring in an egg factory to a, what we consider a residential area, strictly because our homes are not acres apart. There's, there's 200 some feet between each house on this road. The farm would be built here at this residence on Sage Road, which will have 50 acres of pastures for the chickens to roam. It's in partnership with Natural Family Farms out of Middlebury, but the issues are still expected to be very present on the residence's end. You're going to hear it from far away. You're going to smell it, and then you run health risks within a half mile radius because of the feces. There's a bacteria in the feces. As for the owner of the farm, Dennis Stutzman, he understands his neighbor's concerns, but he's taken the time to research and believes it won't be a problem after everything is built and set. I mean, I think some of them had little, like, legitimate uh, concerns. I did my research and asked people around, different company, went to different chicken hot barns, farmers already that were there and going on, and I didn't smell anything there. And the whole, so I thought, well, I, I, I think I'm, I'll be okay doing this. I don't think, I don't think it will affect my neighbors to speak of at all. Neighbors in attendance started a petition against the farm. However, Stutzman tells me he still plans on moving forward with it, and it should be built with chickens around August of this year. All right, thank you, Walid Alamla, with a chicken update for us this evening. Well, a